So a lot of you may be thinking I'm about to cover a build with the new conversion kit for the FJX Horus, and let me just say, you're going to be wrong. I think the weapon without the conversion kit is much better simply due to the damage. This is an aggressive weapon. It's not good at long range. So the conversion kit, yes, lowers the recoil a lot, but also lowers the damage, which effectively ruins the purpose of the weapon as a whole, in my personal opinion. Of course, I'll make a build with the conversion kit if you guys want to see it, but I think I got a banger here for you guys. Very good for small maps. For our stock, I'm going to be using the Modus 30 stock for aim down sight speed, sprint speed, along with movement speed to just help with the aggression as a whole. I did just state it's a very good aggressive weapon, and this is an attachment to help that cause at only the sacrifice of flinch resistance. In my opinion, that's not a big deal. When you're that close to people, you don't really flinch all too much. You're going to be gaining a ton of movement here. So I'll hide my camera so you guys can see what you're gaining. We got 2% of the movement, 2% of the sprint speed. 1% uh, of the tactical sprint speed, but most importantly, we got 8% there to the aim down sight speed. For a rear grip, I am using the LOL 9M grip for recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability. 100% necessary attachment here. Without the conversion kit or without the correct attachments, this weapon kicks to the freaking sky and it's more or less uncontrollable. So with the LOL 9M grip here, you're gonna be getting 7% across the board to gun kick, horizontal and vertical recoil control, along with fire aiming stability. For your magazine here, I am going with the 48 round mag. As always, it's a preference. You can go with the 32, the 48, the 60, whatever you guys want to use here. For a muzzle, I'm going with the Zem compensated flash hider. I am gonna be losing some aim down sight speed here, but I do find this attachment to be 100% necessary we're not only getting vertical and horizontal recoil control but the fire aiming stability is what is really of the utmost importance i'm sure you guys have used the fjx horus and you know the visual shake the weapon has so we got five percent of the horizontal recoil control 15 percent of the vertical recoil control along with that fire aiming stability as well and our final attachment is the sin 9 long barrel to increase some of the bullet velocity and damage range along with fire aiming stability we just had a long talk about fire aiming stability you guys know it's important this weapon at long range, believe it or not, is kind of good. 17.5 meter effective damage range, and where that's after increasing at 15%. So the, at the end of the day, this attachment, it, it's a good one simply because now if you can find a way to hit your shots and it's an absolute monster in those medium range categories, we're also getting 5% to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical recoil control. So we have a fast aim down sight speed with great mobility and a much improved recoil pattern with this build. So at the end of the day, if you guys want to see a conversion kit build, I will make it for you guys, but I'm just giving you the warning. I don't think it's as good as the stock FJX Horus. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen. You guys can feel free to copy this down if you want. We're going to jump over to a map so you guys can see what I'm talking about, how aggressive you can play with this thing and how effective it is at being a close range weapon and how, like I said, you don't need that conversion kit to limit the recoil and use it effectively. So let's jump over to that now. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Hope you guys enjoy. So the FJX Horus got quite a bit of a buff to the recoil side of this weapon. So that's what we're doing today. I was able to speed up the weapon quite a bit and not focus so much on recoil. You still want to be super aggressive and use it at close range. You don't want to take super long range fights with it. But with the recoil or the gun kick and fire aiming stability being buffed up, it definitely helps with the aggressive side of the game. You guys are witnessing it right there. It doesn't doesn't shoot up to the sky nearly as much as it used to now it's still if you're a slow paced player you're not going to have fun with this thing no matter what no matter how you, you go out there about it you're not going to have fun with it you got to be up close and personal you got to use the fire rate and the weapons capabilities well with to what it's good at if you try to take long range fights you're going to have some trouble simple as that I've done a couple circles and normally you find people in bunches and we're not finding that right now. So I'm a little confused. I saw him up top, by the way. Question is, did he see me? No. Where the heck was he? He was chasing me the whole time. So he's running a knife. That's good to know. I didn't even see him. Not a lot happening here, man. Enemy is down. 
And they're spawning on both sides of me. I can't do anything. There we go. There we go. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm two kills. Wait, it says I'm on a merciless. How do I not have this VTOL? I thought you have to be on a 10 gun streak for the VTOL. I'm gonna go top here. There's a VTOL. Advanced UAV. Probably gonna VTOL right now. Put it right there. Can't move though. Swarm. All right, now we're cooking. They just spawn behind me. So I'm gonna go this way because they spawn there. Oh, teammates fighting this guy. You got him. Wait. Oh my God, he's fried me. Is he unlocked tooling, you think? He's got all the mastery camos. All right, hold the swarm, pal. He left the game. Oh, they're all leaving the game now. That's tough. That guy killed me off by nuke streak and left the game. Ow. Hmm. If I were them, where would I be? I'm at 55 and we got time to do some stuff here if we get down. Teammates are frying actually Got another advance. Let's just go with it Another swarm's in. I'm gonna go up here. Maybe VTOL it? Target area marked. You're clear to hot. Loading. Enemies inside the out. May just took my teammate's knife kill, which my bad, but I wanted it, so. I think I'm five kills off of DNA. Another VTOL. And they just shot it down. Or I'm oh yeah streaks count towards your DNA bomb if you didn't know I had no idea about that until someone told me so the more you know I put it out on Twitter I'm like hey how does this DNA bomb work I find that I'm getting it
when I'm not actually getting the gun kills, which is weird for me because that's always been a nuke thing. You know what I mean? You have to get the gun kills to get the nuke and apparently streaks work towards it. So no complaints. So since that dude left the game and I nuked, does that mean I still nuked him? Is that what that means? I think that's what that means. I'm going to call it. I nuked him. Well, this game went uh, a little different than I had expected. 108 kills is a W. Stop you.